So now it's time for us to create the materials and the textures. So actually this image is really big. It's 4000 pixels. So I can I think I can use this image as our texture. So this part is black light black and this glossy black and this is white and black defy written on it and it's the logo also we need these details so let's go to the Photoshop for this and start cleaning the image as you see we have this reflection kind of effect here so we duplicate this area and we can image adjustment curves we can have play with curves to make it clear okay it's good I guess so what we need is this part also we need this black color so what we need to do we gotta use two textures for the first we're gonna use this one and let's paint black so let's go here and press shift and press here so we're gonna use this texture okay good so let's make like this okay I guess I messed up with the bottom part Okay, now let's see. Okay, they are okay. Let's bring it up a little bit. Let's turn off snap because it's snapping. Okay, good. So I'm gonna use this one for the LED. So let's press black. Sure. We're gonna use we can use this image as a mask if we want to change the color of the LEDs or we can use it as it is okay so we saved it as separate JPEG now we need to paint everything to white use only the logo okay so press go to the image adjustment curves Let's make sure that the everything is white because I think here is not white so we need to fix Okay, good. Now let's save this as a separate JPEG file. So as we see we have one LED and one logo. And then we need to create these details. So let's see how many of them we get. We get like one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Maybe I'm gonna start from here. Let's go here. 
I'm gonna start these details, create these details in 3ds Max. So let's go like this. We're gonna do like this, we attach everything together, all these boxes together, and we're gonna use them inside as this gray object. Something like this and we have small details here like long lines and they're gonna be like this really small like this we're gonna make like 15 <coughs> we attach everything together. Okay. So I'm going to take this and move this here. Okay. And I'm going to use this as a texture. If the if it's okay, I guess we have several of them. And they all look like this. Okay, so let's render this. Let's render this. we make them a little bit smaller like this okay so what we're gonna do is set the resolution to like HD and make them black let me turn off this select this and make black it's really black with self illumination or maybe we just make it white and everything else is gonna be black and that's it so we're gonna save this as JPEG and then we're gonna use this image as a texture here like this we go here and bring our empty area here let's make it rasterize this let's make it like this let's bring it up like this And let's see how it will look. Move it down. Turn off this. 
let's do to the multiply and I guess we're gonna work we need we're gonna need to work with UVs or maybe just bring it up something like this and okay something like this so we turn off this defy or maybe we just duplicate this and make it white and save this as detail as other JPEG object JPEG image okay so now let's add materials so what we need to do is just directly throw this to file logo maybe first we need to align this oh I okay so let's go here and and let's let's drop this okay let's throw this into our diffuse okay let's throw it to diffuse and play with UVs to make it right rotate it like this the UV and then fit okay now we need to scale it like this so that this black area goes directly here okay bigger okay now it's good okay now we can change this texture to the original texture which we're gonna use to this okay good we can delete this we can also delete this one maybe we just still keep this okay now we need to use opacity maps and we're gonna use it here and let's see if we change it to opacity map and okay and uh, now it's not good enough so I guess we need to hide this and make it a little bit bigger something like this and render it from this report okay now let's save it and then go back to Photoshop let's get rid of this Let's replace the opacity map and see how it looks. Okay, now I guess we need to
set this up like this. Or maybe we do like this. So we after adding UV map we let's first clone this lead and move it back and hide. And then we convert this to editable poly. Okay. So we change it back to original logo and we change everything to bad original. Okay. Now we add second map to the area that we're gonna use for details. Okay. So we're gonna use this So it's gonna be this then press ring and convert it to polygon to see okay now we need to deselect these parts let's turn off the self illumination to be able to see the lines okay now we're gonna use our second material on it just change the name to something else and then change the texture itself to the opacity map now we're gonna add actually we can use this map here and while it's selected choose UMW map choose box press fit and okay, now we're gonna adjust Let, let it be planner maybe we need to rotate it let's rotate it 90 degree let's make it local ok great good okay now we can convert it back to editable body select all the maps all the polygons and deselect these ones that we need to use as, and as we see we have other polygons that we don't need to be this material and Go back and say set ID to one. Okay. Now what we need to do is we just go to the corona render. Render select corona. Okay. now we don't need this let's hide it let's hide this one too okay so we have two materials so we I guess throw this texture here and go to this material and choose corona material and then throw this 
into the opacity slot choose instance and now as we see we have these places empty and now go here copy this texture to this slot and then choose current material and add this as a texture nice now let's do like this let's add extended viewport and current interactive and then add image based lightning to the scene so we're gonna use current bitmap for this we're gonna use our HDR eyes let's choose this one studio for in small and maybe you have your own favorite HDR image okay now we press 8 and throw this into environment slot okay now we have nice lightning here okay so we're gonna use this ones this box here select this vertices and move it back so that it's, it looks like a rectangle nice and now let's select these edges as you see and chamfer them let's create chamfer and add extra segments so that it looks flat like rounded so I guess we're gonna move it to its place this now we're gonna do chamfer okay we increase the segment so that it looks like smooth okay good so we move it like this move it a little bit like this okay good we move it to the right and we're gonna move it to the left okay great and maybe we just Keep gray color to our object, like standard color. Okay, and we gonna use the same material that we use for the lid in the back, but we gonna use our UVM UV map. So that the no logo is visible on the object but still the color is white and we're gonna use the exact same material here too let's change the UVs move it like this and that's all great nice so now what we need to do is we add this chrome effect here so go to the corona material give reflection one and change the IR value to 99 and that's it we have chrome material maybe we just give some closeness to it like 0.9 and because of 
our HDRI doesn't look like a Chrome at all. Maybe we change the HDR image to something else. Maybe we use the first one, which was okay. Now, as we see, it's Chrome. And maybe we use some indoor HDRs like this living room HDR. Great. Now I guess this is fine. So let's create this black material for this part. And now give reflections for reflections good and let's create reflections for this material too I guess it's too much let's change it to 0 0.15 also the glossiness to 0 0.8 okay this is fine and now let's give it texture uh, I guess these reflections are too much too and change it to like 95 or else okay now we gonna use the bitmap and choose the texture black texture okay now we need to add extra modifier to it to correct the UVs so select this ID and select all the polygons of ID2 and give UVW modifier and try to fit it Maybe we need to rotate this image 90 degree. Okay, that was the problem. Let's scale it up. Actually, this needs to be bigger than the logo. Like this two is the same as logo, but this one is bigger. Let's make it like this. Okay. It's great. So this is our air conditioner unit. Let's open this and select the things which is inside and give just ordinary color to them and then same with this and then close this down and that's it maybe we hide this HDR image from the background for this we need to go to the scene we're gonna go to the scene environment slot and change the direct visibility override let's see what how it looks like it looks not so bad it looks great I guess look at the seam here it looks great as the seam of the lead maybe we need to darken exposure a little bit so that it doesn't look like too burnt
so that's it guys I hope you like this tutorial now you can create your own three D models and give nice material to them. So see you on next tutorials. Thanks. Bye.